back to my channel for another video. Today is going to be the final video in my fall prep series, and we're going to be talking today about organizing your systems. Particularly, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the most awesome filing system for your desk using a Filofax planner. So the planner I'm actually going to be using today is this black Filofax original that is in the A5 size. This was graciously sent to me by Filofax for review, um, and I absolutely love this. I have a fluoro pink Filofax that you may remember um, in A5 size as well as a personal size one, but I wanted to set this system up in this black one because we're going into fall and winter and if you haven't noticed I'm like kind of obsessed with like black and white so I am using this planner to set up my organization system in and if you've ever seen my previous video from actually about two I think it's two years ago um, it's all about the 43 folder system that is the system I'm going to be reestablishing for myself today. As I talked about back in my fall prep um, introductory video, uh, one of the big things that I'm trying to do um, before the end of August to basically set myself up for a great start and like a back to work sort of feeling for September is I really need to kind of reestablish my systems. Um, now my planning system is the same. I'm still using my Charmed Life Planner and I am hoping that in the next couple of weeks I'm going to probably do a reset of video to show you guys that and kind of see like maybe like different tweaks for how I'm using that system. But um, one of the big systems that I sort of lost touch with was my 43 folder system and it was always such a great reliable filing system that I kind of regretted that I wasn't using it like consistently and especially since I purchased my home with my husband this summer we have so many new bills and just documents and just so many more projects that we have to take on um, that I really now more than ever need this filing system in my life. So I thought, you know what, let's start fresh. Let's start from scratch with a fresh binder and create all new folders and just put together this system so that it's perfect so that I can jump into fall um, really well prepared with a beautiful new item that I'm really excited about using. Now, if you didn't see that first 43 folder system, I wanna quickly just give you an overview of what the system is all about. So the 43 folder system is a system that I first learned about from David Allen and his book, Getting things done. The system is essentially a cyclical rotating calendar system that is traditionally set up with 43 file folders. 43 is a significant number because 12 of those folders represent one for each month of the year, so January through December, that's 12 folders, and then the remaining 31 represent the 31 maximum days that a month will have, right? So um, that is where you get the 43 folders. So essentially, this is a system for forward planning, which I absolutely love, although I do do forward planning in my actual physical Charmed Life Planner. Um, you know, we always have these sort of documents and reminders and things that we don't want to muddy up our current planner by like stuffing it full of paperwork that doesn't pertain to, you know, our current day or our current week or our current month. So it's great to have this sort of forward planning system where you can literally just file things away. And it's cyclical, which means that once you've set it up, you're basically just rotating files around, right? And just rotating pieces of it around because it's not necessarily dated. It's always set up for the next 12 months um, the next a year essentially of your life at any given time, which is pretty awesome. So I really do believe that this is a really useful system for anyone who does feel like they need like a filing system in their life. Personally, I don't have a lot of like filing in my office. I know that as a business owner, I probably should just go ahead and buy like an actual filing cabinet for my important documents. Um, I kind of have like little portable ones that are for like really important home and life documents. But for me, this portable filing system in this Filofax 
really is, seems to be all I really need for keeping track of essential items, essential tasks and to-dos that are for forward planning and just making sure I keep organized and all my important and essential documents are in one place. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into how to set up this system for yourself if it's something you're interested in. Okay, so the first thing we need in order to turn a file of facts into the ultimate desktop filing system is of course a file of facts. So what I have here is an A5 Filofax original that was sent to me by Filofax. I'm very lucky that from time to time, um, different companies, including Filofax, like to send me planners to play with and review. Um, and I absolutely love this planner. I am I've always been a big fan of the original Filofaxes, and when Filofax offered to send me a planner, um, I jumped on the opportunity to get another one in black because I just thought that that would be such a great color for me for the fall, um, since I'm really into black and white, like always, if you know me. <laughs> and um, specifically, I'm really into black and white and marble right now, which is going to be the theme of this planner. So. As you can see, I just have emptied out this A5 original. So this is going to be the binding for our filing system. Now, of course, you can use any other planner that is A5 or even like an eight and a half by 11, like a full size. And I think you may even be able to finagle this for a personal size planner. And I'll talk about that in the end, how I might change this system up for a personal size. But for now, I've got this spare A5 that is brand new and ready to be used. So I am going to set this up as my filing system. Okay, so since the basis of the filing system that I'm going to be using is indeed the 43 folders system that I absolutely adore, the first thing I need to put inside of this planner is 12 folders, one for each month of the year. So what I have here are a 12 folders that I've gone ahead and made from um, tabbed dividers for, um, you know, just filing dividers that are in these beautiful marble black and white print. Um, I will go ahead and insert a little um, video clip of how I made these very simply. And I also went ahead and created my own little tabs, my own little sticky tabs with the months on them. So the first thing that actually goes in here is gonna be the 12 folders that represent the 12 months of the year. Okay, so all the folders are in, but a little bit of a caveat, right? We are actually in August right now. So I don't wanna set this up to start with January if we're in August. So I'm actually gonna quickly redo this and just divide out and start with August. So August's folder will be first and then I will have January through July um, and I'll put those in the back just so this is um, adequate for me right now. But if you are seeing this in any other month of the year, absolutely start your system from the current month that you're in and then just put all of these subsequent months in the back. Okay, so the next essential element of a 43 folder system, we've already got 12 month folders, um, is supposed to be 31 individual day folders. So because a file of facts will not actually physically hold like capacity wise 43 full folders, um, I am using for the days of the month, the one through 31, I've actually taken some more of these tabbed dividers in this beautiful marble print and I have cut them into like half letter pages and punched those to go into the planner. So these as well all have the monthly, tab, the daily tabs on them. So it's they're tabbed one through 31. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those into the planner after um, August. So actually I'm in the wrong place here. I'm just gonna move these guys over. Ah, now I'm actually in August, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to load these daily pages in. So the way that I'm gonna use these daily pages is instead of using these as folders, um, since this is a file of facts and it is pretty secure, I don't necessarily need folders for every single day. Um, so what I can do is as I distribute paperwork throughout this filing system, I can just easily slide it between the days where it belongs. So I, or I can use sticky notes and actually attach them to the page itself. And here we can see here. So 
here we go, we're on the 13th. Okay, so let's say I had something that was due the 13th, I could easily just take a piece of paper, right, and slide it in here on the 13th, and it could sit in there, or what I could do is, this is actually something that does go into this system, um, so it's already six hole punched. I could punch things in and put it in, which it would be fine, or I can take some sticky notes, make a note, and put it on the page that it belongs to if something's due, for example, on the 13th. So there are a few different ways I can actually you know, put things into this file system, which is why I absolutely love it because it's very flexible and I'm not necessarily confined by the fact that this is A5 size. Like I could slide larger or longer things into it um, or I can just put little handwritten notes inside to remind me of tasks or items um, that might be too big to actually physically put in here because obviously there's not gonna be any filing system that can 100% accommodate every um, piece of material for a project or something that you have to work on, um, depending on what that project is. So I think this is a really great flexible system. And because I've used these tabbed out divided um, divider pages, this is actually thicker than a real piece of paper. This is essentially like a laminated sheet of paper that has this beautiful pattern on it. So it's going to be nice and durable. And with the tabs on it that I've added, you know, it's easy for me to figure out what day is which and all that jazz. So those are the daily pages that are going to help me organize things in the file folder. Now, that is essentially it for the 43 folders system. There are, however, a few extra things that I like to add into any desktop filing system. And those are two additional um, folders. Now, I like to have an inbox and an outbox. So these are actually like heavy duty, like hard plastic um, files that I purchased from Staples and repunched to fit file faxes. And essentially the way these are going to work is if I have something that really quickly I know needs to be filed in here, but let's say I'm a little bit busy, I can go ahead and just stick it in the inbox, close the filing system up and then deal with it later. Um, and likewise, if I have something inside that needs to be either mailed or moved somewhere else, I can put it in the outbox. So I'm, I always have these sort of master inbox and outbox that kind of is a catch all for everything, um, either before or after it's been organized and dealt with in the actual filing system, which I love. Now, something else I'm gonna go ahead and put in here just because I like having extra organizational elements is I have a little dashboard that's made from that same um, cardstock, that tabbed divider cardstock um, that I've just gone ahead and cut to size so that it kind of keeps everything um, private. I mean, this is going on my desk, so I'm not really too concerned about privacy, but if I do have something important and maybe I'm filming or, um, you know, there's people over, I can just, this is nice to have like this little uh, divider in the front to block anything that's in the inbox that might be sensitive. So that's just something that, you know, I wanted to make sure was in there. And then one final element I'm going to use for this is a, just like a, this simple clear page marker. Um, this is one of the Project Life page markers. I just cut it down to size and repunched it for Filofax. And then I put some, I don't know if you guys can see, I put like sunglasses on there, like a sunglasses sticker. But what I can do with this is I can actually mark the day we're currently on. So today is the 26th. I'm going to go ahead and... Just pop that in there so and I can move this from day to day so when I wake up in the morning go to my office and this is closed I can really easily you know open it up feel for the page marker and go directly to that day's page to check to see if I have any items that have been filed away in here okay so that's my 43 slash 45 folder system inside of an a5 file of facts now I know I'm going to get the question, and I've received this question before plenty of times. Is this a system that will uh, translate to a personal size planner? 
I believe that yes, you can use a personal size planner to contain this system, but I think there's a little bit of a caveat for the way that you're gonna to wanna to set it up. Now, I don't have an example of this set up for you now, but just bear with me. You kind of already saw how to set it up in an A5 system. So just imagine what we just did, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit for you for a personal size planner. A personal size planner will not hold um, the amount of, of pages and folders that I have in this A5. So if I were personally setting up a personal size planner to be a 43 folder system for myself, what I would do is I would actually, instead of having the 12 folders, one for each month of the year, I would probably do four folders and I would probably use my like my folder tutorial that where you can get like a double folder. Um, I will link that video down below for you so you can see like my DIY file folder uh, divider video that actually walks you through how to create one. I would use one of those double folders and I would create four of those. So I would make four of those, one for every quarter of the year. So instead of one for every month, one for every quarter. Um, so one for January through March, one for April through June, one through July through um, September, and then October to December in the fourth one, okay? So that would be step number one. Just four folders, but those double ones will be good for that, I think, because they'll hold a little bit more. Second, instead of doing the 31 individual pages for the days, I would probably do five. Um, and I would have them set up for the five maximum weeks in a month, right? So one of them could be dated, you know, day one through seven, one could be eight through um, 14, one will be 15 through 21, and then 22 uh, to 28. Is that right? And then 29 onward, whatever it is, I forget the exact dates that are in for uh, the five weeks of a month. But I think you get what I'm saying. I would have five pages um, so that you can organize things by the week that they belong in instead of by the actual day. So that is how I would set up a personal size if I was doing that. So if you're someone who has a spare personal size planner, not a spare A5, definitely think about, you know, tweaking it for that. And I'll leave some links down below for you to follow along on how you can actually create some of those items. Also, remember, this is a system that is really good for an A5, I think, but you can always go to a full letter size planner or a full size binder, and you'll probably be able to fit a lot more in there. You might actually, depending on the ring size, like a three ring binder that maybe has like a three inch rings in it, um, or even like, I feel like, yeah, three inches probably like the largest, right, that goes into a binder. I can't think right now, but if you got one of those big binders, you could probably put 43 folders in it. <laughs> so um, if you want to do this the true way, you could do a full size binder, but that's a little bit too much for me. I don't always have um, papers and documents on every day of the month, and I won't necessarily have multiple things in every month for my forward planning. So, you know, the A5 works for me, and I know plenty of us planner lovers out there have an extra A5 around or an extra personal size. So, you know, consider setting this system up for yourself and clearing the clutter off of your desk or you know off of your kitchen you know tables and all those places where you just have paper like all over the place that are important documents that you need to refer back to but you know you're just kind of leaving them places I would corral them up and put them into this 43 folder system get them nice and organized and you will be good to go um, as long as you are regularly checking on your filing system remember you need to regularly check on it if you expect it to work Okay, so that is it for how to create a filing system in a file effects planner. If you have any questions about the process or items I used, please let me know. I am gonna to try to fill the description box with the actual items that I used in this video um, so that you can purchase those pretty marble dividers if you want them. And I'll show you where you can find this file effects as well online if you're interested in it. If you do go ahead and create this system for yourself, I absolutely want to see it. So make sure to snap a picture and post it on Instagram and tag me at Miss Trenchcoat and use the hashtag CharmedGTD to tag your photos so everyone in the community can see your inspiration. And if you do a video on this system, please let me know because I did actually um, see the other day I was like researching my old 43 folder system video and I saw that there are a few people who have done their own version of this video as well with their own setups. And 
And it's awesome to see you guys actually implementing these and making videos yourself. So I love that I was kind of the catalyst that brought this 43 folder system to the planning community. I'm really proud of that. So if you actually make a video, send it to me, let me know about it, and I would love to share it with my followers as well. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos by me, and until next time, bye bye